Hello guys and welcome back to our playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 as the American Union State. Happy 2018 everyone and I hope everyone had good holidays if you celebrate Christmas like I do. I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. I know I did. And yeah, so I did take a week off, obviously. It was my little Christmas break I gave myself for videos, although to be honest it I probably spend no more than 30 minutes a day working on videos. I've also been very, also been sick. I'm recovering from a cold. It means I also missed my game last Saturday that, that we were playing at uh, Spooky Nook Sports Center in Pennsylvania, which is the largest indoor sports complex in North America. And yeah, we were not very happy. Well, I wasn't happy that I was not able to go. The rest of my team went, though, and they went and... And they did pretty good. We did not come out on top. It wasn't a, like, a, like a league tournament. It was more of a... Kind of like an off-season game, pretty much. It wasn't even like a single game. A bunch of the teams were there. I think we had some of the professional players show up, too, with uh, like impromptu teams. Wait, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Grease's name... Show oh, my... Nuclear launch detected. Hopefully that is the only nuclear bomb that the Germans have. Please let that go off before my troops get there. And I did not even realize now that we have. Why did I do that? Alright. Uh, so over at Christmas I mostly just pretty much got. And my house is the one where everyone goes to for Christmas in my family, and I have a massive family. I mean, I have 20-some cousins on my mom's side, alone. Oh, are we actually having, like, a big battle right here? Hey, Donuts. Destroyers are putting in some work, though. So we are continuing our adva advance, and we're all, you know, let's nuke Fran Paris. I mean, we've already nuked France more than it probably deserves, but now we're actually going to continue dropping some of those big old nuclear bombs. Oh, yeah, there's uh, so many losses here. So any way I can... I mean, I can send these. You know, it might be a good idea to just get an impromptu fleet here. I don't even think this is all of the Kaiser-like marine. No, it is not. And that, we are taking a beating. However, i pretty sure we're going to be able to build up our navy again much faster than the Germans will although we do not have any chromium but I think regardless we're gonna be able to punch through the German ranks very quickly um, let's oh yeah I forgot my tank to my tank armies so you're one of them and you're the other yes it's like no supplies here yep and that was quick. We got Cheruburg. You know, if they're going to go there, then we don't need you guys to do that anymore. Let's drop a nuke again. Because since we have air superiority, we can just drop nukes as much as we need to. We're going to have probably a little bit of a hard time getting through here. Just because this is territory that is heavily fortified. Something that would be interesting, although I don't think it would really be worth adding, is having um, forts be directional. I, mean, I don't think it's at all something necessary to add. We're actually going to put you guys on repair now. Yeah, I don't care about that one. 
I'd say we did pretty good in that battle. 134 ships. I think we took around like 70 to 100 ships. That's pretty good. And let's just keep our armored division going. And France is very close to capitulating. Uh oh. The Germans have managed to land in Ireland. Who is naval invading there? I swear, if they invade us there, I will be very, very upset. Deadly invasion in Alaska. Oh no, they actually are. Uh, Canadians can probably get it. Guild Canucks. Oh yeah, guys, and I am, as I said, sick, so if my voice sounds kind of odd, that's why. And I realized something last week. When I finished recording, I happened to watch one of my videos, and I was like, huh. As I had it at 1080 resolution, and I was like, why is this not look like it's 1080? And I happened to look at OBS, and I had to reinstall it at one point, like, completely. I never changed it. Like, it's recording things at 10 at um, 1080, but then it's downscaling them to 720. I managed to fix that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no, the reason I saw it is because on the Fearite developer... Uh, well, on the Fearite Discord, which if you guys want to join that, you always are welcome to. You go to r slash Fearite, it is on there. What is that? Benlux? Oh, no, I guess we just don't have enough. Whatever, I think we have the Germans pretty well on the run. I think we're about to sneeze. Please, no. Sir, please. Alright. Crisis averted. Yeah, we really have the Germans. Oh, there we go, the French, and it doesn't matter because there's German troops everywhere. Oh, God, no. You know, I just, now that I think about it, I think those troops have been there the whole time. I don't know, did we get them? Whatever. Uh, support nuclear bomb. Boom. Here, do it again. I, oh man, that's not good. Ireland has capitulated. So I'm going to start using some of these Italian divisions that we're getting. And they're going to be start being set up here to be uh, guard against naval invasions. I guess we don't really even need a general. Let's see, is there anything we really need? Like, uh, why am I, yeah, why am I even researching that? We could get new, yeah, we should get new jet fighters. And some of these new jet tactical bombers. 1950. This is definitely the farthest I've ever been in Hearts of Iron 4. I mean, most of the time the war does end in, in this amount of time. So that's why. There's so many divisions. We're not short on supplies, are we? Um, let's see view. Dunkirk. Uh, no, we are looking peachy keen on our supplies. You have self-propelled guns, however, which I probably should be using. And you're an armored division that's not fighting up here, and we need to fix that. Uh, again, nuclear bombs are just going to make it so we can take literally any province. Well, that's not good. I think someone got overran. Yeah, we, we just nuke everything. There is absolutely nothing that nuclear bombs cannot solve.
Here, we can just send nukes against literally every German position here. Our troops are attacking. Uh, that's Western Germany, so at least it should be. Yes. I'm surprised they actually... Southern Germany. See, I'm pretty sure my voice I'm a bit messed up right now, and that's just gonna how how it's gonna be until I get until I get my head completely cleared. Now here's the thing I'm wondering: how many? Like we saw that the Germans dropped a nuclear bomb. We know they have them now. Well, we know someone did. It was probably the Germans. The fact that they haven't dropped any more means that they probably don't have any more. Oh, you know what we could do? We could have an encirclement right going on possibility right here. Keep the bombs dropping, please. Drop before the American troops get there. Yay! We have an encirclement potential right here. Big one. Well, oh, now our troops are actually closing the gap, so maybe not. Then we'll also have to start moving everything up. However, because we've nuked everything, everything is just completely destroyed. Um, I want control of states. You're my puppet. Screw you. Whatever. I'm pretty sure most of our fighters will planes will be good just going into if they could get into northern France, they can probably get into southern Germany. Let's test it. Yep. Here we go. Tactical nuke inbound. Woo! 92 Belarusian divisions. Well, you want to be specific. White Ruthenia. Ah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Here, and we're finally getting into Germany proper. Let's see, how is the war going, like, death-wise? Yeah, Ireland got completely wrecked. Probably should have expected it. They weren't going to be able to hold out too long. Everyone else is doing completely fine. I know they landed up in Alaska. But they're obviously not going to be taking a lot. Germany is taking a whole lot of losses. Russia, White, eh, White Ruthenia. Ukraine is taking quite a few. You know, we are doing fantastic on the kill ratio count, by the way. Having this awesome kill ratio is perfect. I mean, we haven't even lost a million men. Now, our total losses are much higher. Oh, it's because they lost Sardinia. How is our fleet doing? Ooh. Oh, wait, yeah. That's actually a problem. We're not really going to be able to repair the carriers. Because there's so many ships there and I don't feel comfortable moving any of them out of there let's think I just don't know how many of those are oh there's so many divisions oh Russia is just pumping them out 
Oh god, this is about to get a lot harder. One of our divisions that could, of our air force that could be in southern Germany is not. You can't even get up there. That's a thousand planes. That probably tipped the tide in our favor. And here come the nuclear weapons. You'll probably not have them be on total attack all the time, so that my troops would have some time to restock up on their supplies. Well, I think they're taking so much attrition just because they don't have the supplies up here. It also might be that the Germans are just... You know, no, I wouldn't know if it, they are sinking my convoys. Yeah, but they're the ones up there. Glad to see that Ukraine has helped apparently take Ireland. Do we not have enough? That certainly looks like enough. Apparently it is enough now. Yeah, do it again. Or not. Perfect. It's going to be a long and grueling process to get to the rest of Germany. One thing that does suck is for the American Civil War is that the people who die, like the soldiers who die during the Civil War, even if they're not your own, you lose that manpower if you actually want to fight because I mean the people are dead I mean you can attempt to script, conscript their corpses but I have a feeling you're not going to get very enthusiastic soldiers or effective soldiers out of them unless you're like a necromancer in that case you probably could conquer the world without trying to do it the old fashioned way with guns and soldiers I wonder why the Germans really aren't attacking that often. Let's see. Where, where is... I can never tell which one. Yeah, the jerry can, the supplies. I think there's just too many people. Would it be beneficial if we actually had less troops here? Akatania could probably start actually making... Oh, God. Poor Italians. Yeah, first they get invaded by me. And now they're just getting nuked by the Germans. You know, it also might be the fact that since I'm nuking everything, I'm destroying all of the supply lines... Well, not the spy lines, the infrastructure. Come on. There we go. So we're slowly, oh so slowly pushing into Germany. Let's just nuke some of their bigger cities for the fun of it. Oh, you know what we should do? Nuke their air bases. Now who has air control? That's what I thought. 
Now they just won't have the ability to get air superiority, even if they wanted it. Oh my God, and there's all these troops here doing nothing. Here, you guys can help form um, the garrisons. Uh, we're all done that research. We're all, I guess we can do that. Uh, self propelled guns. Oh my god. So many. We're not even, yeah, we're not even really even in the f Germany itself. We're just on the outskirts of France. I feel like it might get, oh my god, the AI, wait, that's why it's so hard. The AI is building forts everywhere. And we're going to have to capitulate. Germany, the Ukraine, we already got France, and Russia. Luckily, the losses continue to go up. And I think that's where we're going to have to end here for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And we're actually going to be able to start getting into Germany probably for our next episode. So I'll catch you all later. Peace.